Welcome to this episode of Blind Grilling. Today we're going Greek with a boneless leg of lamb and some lamb chops. Stay tuned, it's going to be a great cook. So we've got our boneless leg of lamb. We've already taken some uh, olive oil and we put on, and then we've got some Cavender's Greek seasoning, kind of going back to the old school uh, seasonings here uh, for this Greek cook today. So we've got the Cavender's Greek seasoning that we put on, and we're going to put some oregano on as well. So kind of spin that a little bit. Uh, and I already done the other side, so we're good there. And then we've got some rosemary that we're going to kind of put on also. So, and what I was going to also kind of show you as we get this kind of worked in, with this leg of lamb, you know, it's got the bone, it's boneless, so the bone's been pulled out. So make sure you get your seasoning down inside there. We've done that already. And so we've got this thing covered up and seasoned really well. It's set overnight with the Cavender's uh, Greek seasoning and olive oil on it. So it is pretty much ready to go. We've got the chops about ready. The big green egg is coming up to temp. We're going to cook at about 275 degrees. And we'll be back in a few minutes to put it on the egg. So folks, we've got the big green egg up to 275 degrees. And before we put the plate setter in and get the lamb in the egg itself, I wanted to kind of show you, getting ready to put some wood in. Uh, but, and I, I think I've showed you this before under the cooks, but we got some new folks watching. I wanted to kind of show you right here how I know what kind of wood I'm putting in. I've marked my boxes with braille. So right here, this says persimmon. And so I, I don't mark the lids in case the lids get uh, messed up, but I've marked this little handle on the tub and it's got braille on it so I can feel my braille tubs and know what kind of wood I'm putting on. Um, and so I'm going to put on some persimmon and then I just opened a bag of peach so I'm, I'll be uh, putting in some uh, peach as well. I've got to fill my tub up of peach wood but I got some chips of this peach. Whoops. Pick that up a little bit. So a little bit of peach and a little bit of persimmon for this lamb cook. So let's go ahead and put them down here in my fire. All right. So now what I'm going to do is grab my plate setter. through that smokiness that's starting. Get my plate setter down in here. Alright. Trade spots. Put my grate on. We're doing an indirect for this leg of lamb. Alright, we'll let that kind of stabilize in just a few minutes. And <laughs> And then we'll be back to put that leg of lamb on the grill. So folks, we've got the egg up to 275 degrees. Before we put this, uh, this boneless leg of lamb in, I got a little drip pan. What I'm gonna do, and I've already put a little bit in here, but I've got some peach cider that we picked up at the farmer's market. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull our grate out real quick and set it on top of that pan there. I'm going to put this down on our plate setter right there back on and now we're going to take our leg of lamb and we're going to put it fat side down right over that drip pan to catch them juices 
All right, that's gonna be some good stuff. We're gonna let it go. I'll put a probe in in just a little bit until it reaches about 125 degrees and then we'll uh, check and go from there. Folks, our leg of lamb has reached an internal temp of um, about 135, maybe just over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it off and we're gonna reconfigure the egg for the lamb chops. So let me get this four out. And I'm gonna reach in here and grab this leg of lamb. I don't want to wrap it too tight, really, right now. All right, so that's just going to sit there and that's going to rest for a little bit. In the meantime, I need to do a little bit of reconfiguring. On our eggs. Give me just a second. See. Oh, need my gloves. So we're going to pull that little pan out that has our drippings, and you'll remember the apple or the uh, peach cider. All right. So there we got some pretty good little drippings. Right there. Let's go ahead. Nope, missed it. One of the frustrating things about this, as much as it is helpful, bring this over, set it down right there. Now we're going to put our grate back on. down for a second while we get we're going to bump that temperature up to about 350 degrees and when we do that one whoops catch that in a minute actually I set those right here so we're going to put these chops on then we'll bump this up to 375 degrees and they won't take very long but they've basically done the same thing they've got the uh, Cavender's Greek seasoning on them I'll put them around the edges and we got four more here So we got those on the grill. We'll flip those in probably about um, eight minutes or so, but we're gonna bump the temp up and let this rest and we're gonna be eating good pretty soon. So it's been about 18 minutes and when we turn these over, we brought some asparagus out and placed those on the grill as well, but it is pretty much time, I do believe, to pull these lamb chops off. So, ah, get that up out of my way. Hopefully those things are, you guys can tell how good they look and they smell amazing. Oh! Oh! Folks, I took a sneak little piece 
Yeah, oh my goodness, this is so good. I'm telling you, we've got some uh, tzatziki sauce that we've made up inside. We're gonna be slicing into that pork shoulder. We've got some mashed potatoes the girls are putting together, as well as this grilled asparagus. We're gonna plate it up and we're gonna try it. And oh man, I am so looking forward to eating this lamb chop and of course that lamb shoulder. So stay tuned and we'll uh, do a test bite in just a minute inside. Folks, we are slicing in to this, and oh man, I tell you what, just easily, I don't know, hopefully you can see this on camera, but this, first of all, it smells so good. This is the leg of lamb that we did, just right through it. So, oh wow, that smells so good. This is a great way to cook this boneless leg of lamb. That Cavender's Greek seasoning is a great seasoning. I love it anyway, but you know, it's really good on here. Um, the, uh, the chops are amazing. Everything about this meal is just gonna be great. We're gonna break out the tzatziki sauce. We'll get some pictures, but I really appreciate everybody watching Blind Grill. And let me know if you guys try this and what you think. Uh, but as always, if you're looking, remember, you're not cooking. So folks, we're trying this lamb with that tzatziki sauce. And, hmm, wow. It's different, it's good. You got the mint and that rosemary and that saffron all coming through and really ties together with that lamb and the way we spice it up so well. It's awesome, you guys gotta try it.